maintaining a good reliability and good efficiency on a power distribution feeder to which we have connected multiple loads like the agricultural load residential load and even the industrial load is very very tough and challenging and that's why segregating that feeder based on the type of load that we have connected to that becomes really really important in this video we are going to talk about what is this feeder segregation why do we need it and we'll also touch and understand the point which is creating the buzz right now in the distribution of power that is the virtual feeder segregation so this video is certainly going to be very very interesting and to know all the details watch the video till the end Now before we go and talk about the feeder segregation I want to give a shout out for today's sponsor of the video Nikum. Now you will understand when we need to do this advanced virtual feeder segregation we are dependent on some of the crucial components crucial devices like the reclosures and line sectionalizer. And Nikum is the company who provides the exactly the same kind of devices the cutting edge switchgear technology. We'll talk about their products later in this video. Now if you look at the general arrangement of uh, the feeder you will find it something like this so we are talking here about the 11 or 12 kV feeders so we have 33 by 11 kV transformer to which we have connected a vacuum circuit breaker or simply it could be a 11 kV switch yard. Now from here we have taken this feeder one now to this feeder we have connected different different loads so we have the agricultural load now the problem is this is the agricultural load. The problem is most of the time the agricultural load is a subsidized load where we sell the electricity to them at a subsidized cost. So here uh, the intent is to give them a supply of 4 to 5 hours in a day. But uh, to the same feeder we have also connected the residential load which of course needs to have 24 7 electricity supply. Same thing uh, with the industrial load that is also connected to the same feeder and uh, we cannot give only 4 to 5 hours of supply to them. They also demand for 24 7 electricity supply a reliable electricity supply. But if you look at the general arrangement that you see on your screen uh, it's not very efficient. Why the very important reason is if something goes wrong or if we want to disconnect the agricultural load we will have to open this vacuum circuit breaker here and that's gonna disconnect the power of every single load that we have connected to this feeder and certainly this is something that we don't want and our customers will not be happy basically the distribution utility will be in trouble and that's why this arrangement is not suitable and suffers major drawbacks like it has the poor reliability absolutely no reliability here in case something goes wrong the whole supply uh, will suffer and also if you want to disconnect the agricultural load uh, then the other load will also suffer because of that so it has the poorest reliability in the power distribution then everything is manual so you have to disconnect uh, the supply you have to identify the fault everything is manual there is no automatic systems uh, involved in this arrangement it is very extremely difficult to identify the faults even if you identify the faults extra uh, you know giving that the solutions to it becomes very very time consuming and it's very tough to identify fault because you don't have idea where the fault has occurred it could be a very long uh, feeder and you absolutely have no idea where the fault has occurred and there is also a very high chance of uh, the power theft and because of all these critical drawbacks uh, the arrangement that we just saw is not reliable and it's something that we don't want. So what could be the solution to this problem? Well the general solution and the straightforward solution that all of us can think is to segregate that feeders into dedicated feeders. So for example uh, you can see on your screen we have the same 33 by 11 kV transformer. But here we have connected three different for example let's say vacuum circuit breaker. So this is the feeder feeder one is dedicated for the residential load then we have feeder two which is dedicated to the industrial load and then we have feeder three which is dedicated to the agricultural load. Now in this arrangement what you can do is after four to five hours if you wish to disconnect the agricultural load you will simply open uh, this circuit breaker and the load will be disconnected. And the balance load will keep running smooth as it is 24 7 with not a problem. 
right? And this is what we call as the physical segregation of uh, the feeders. And it becomes very, very important when we have a mix of load. But as you can see, this is also not a perfect solution. This also suffers from a lot of problem. The biggest problem is the investment because ultimately everything boils down to how much cost, how much investment you're putting into the project. And this physical segregation needs a very high investment. The reasons are very clear. You will need dedicated lines for that. You will need dedicated switch gears for that. Uh, you will need, you know, poles, conductors and a lot of things are needed. And also the maintenance staff will be three times more that you need for this. So this is one of the major drawback of physical uh, feeder segregation. The second is it's time consuming. Of course, you will have to give a time to this because this is not the easy process. You will have to capture the land at different location, which is also a big drawback of this because the right of way comes into picture. So acquiring the land for this is also very, very challenging. And this is also a high maintenance activity. So you have three dedicated lines. So you will need three uh, different maintenance staff who is maintaining, you know, all these things. And still you do not have any fault passage indication. You don't know where the fault is happening. So everything is uh, time consuming. So this is certainly not the solution that we are looking at and uh, this is something that we don't want. Then what could be the solution to this? The solution can be offered by the virtual feeder segregation. Now this virtual feeder segregation can be done using two different ways. The first way is you, you know, give some segregation at the low voltage side after the transformer to the load. And the second methodology could be segregating the feeder itself at the high voltage side of that. Now let us go and talk about this methodology one by one. Starting with the virtual feeder segregation at the low voltage side. Now if you see here, we still have the similar arrangement. Uh, the transformer is here, the 11 kV vacuum circuit breaker is here. And we still have the one feeder. Now here is just the tapping that we have taken. It's not a dedicated feeder. Okay. What we have done is we have connected the disconnectors to this and at the LV side uh, where the transformer stepped down the electricity further and before connecting to the load we can use some sort of low voltage switches. Now that could be the air circuit breaker or it could be the contactor. The advantage of this is we can install the timers here. So after four to five hours, that timer, timer will allow the breaker or the contactor to open and uh, thereby disconnecting the agricultural load that we have and still continue uh, fading the different loads on the same feeder. This could be a good solution, but it's not perfect again, because the reason is we are still dependent on the disconnectors here. And as we know, disconnectors are off load devices. So for sure, if you have to carry out maintenance on this feeder, you will still have to open the uh, vacuum circuit breaker here, which will disconnect again all the load that we have on the system. So this is again not a very good solution. And sometimes uh, because of the multi if the transformer capacity is high, uh, then you will have to invest on the high end air circuit breaker. So that will again increase uh, to the capex investment for the utility. So. This is also a little bit problematic solution doing the virtual feeder segregation at the LV side. The second solution and which addresses this problem is doing the feeder segregation at the high voltage side of the system. So what we are doing is we have we are connecting automatic reclosure circuit reclosure or the uh, sectionalizer, which is nothing but the load brake switch at the high voltage side. You can see uh, the example here. Now this is highly beneficial because with the help of uh, this uh, devices, the reclosure or the load brake switch, we can directly segregate the whole line here. So if you want to disconnect the agricultural load, you will simply open up uh, this device, this reclosure and the whole agricultural load will lose the power. Uh, but you still have uh, this line going live and there is no problem there. Another advantage of this device is that along with the segregation of the feeder we are also protecting our feeders because reclosures are nothing but a circuit breaker a pole mounted circuit breaker uh, which can provide uh, the capacities of short circuit breaking as well so it's not only the segregation that we are doing we are also protecting our feeders 
Now, if you notice, we haven't changed the architecture much here. It's still the one feeder, but we have installed this uh, very useful devices like the reclosures or the line sectionalizers. Now, these are the devices which are very, very important when we talk about the feeder segregation. And the Nikum, who is one of the leading manufacturer of uh, these devices, do have all these products. So they have this automatic reclosure. They, uh, the name is AVR, which is a vacuum based technology available up to 36 kilo volt. And uh, the rated normal current is up to 800 amps. So since this is a vacuum based technology, it is highly, highly reliable. It is also type tested completely as in line with the IEC 62271-111. And they are selling this product in India and, and also in the East African countries like uh, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Ethiopia uh, and many more. They also have a very unique product and they call it as the Visu. This is a line sectionalizer or the load break switch. Uh, it's up available up to 38 kilo volts and 400 amps, the rated normal current. And this is a three in one device. That's the uniqueness of that. So you will get a load break switch, you get a disconnector, and you also get a fault passage indicator. Since it's a visible isolation, it becomes very, very economical and also accepted by a lot of utilities because it gives directly uh, the visual, visual isolation, which is uh, you know, which a lineman can see and perform the task of in with 100% safety. And since it is also equipped with the fault passage indication, you can also know in which section the fault has occurred. So very, very unique device. And it is also completely type tested in line with IEC 62271-103. And this product is also having uh, the global presence. So certainly uh, to achieve a reliable system, uh, efficient system you will have to have this kind of uh, products which is offered by the Nikum switchgear if you want to know more on those products uh, if you want to get in touch with them I'll put a link for their website down in the description you can go and explore and learn more about this product on their website which takes us to the summary of our discussion today so we discussed why we need uh, feeder segregation so one it improves the reliability of the overall system uh, the line efficiency also improves and it helps us in having a better load management. And that's why uh, the segregating the line becomes very, very crucial for distribution utilities. In, in doing the physical uh, segregation of the line, we saw some of the challenges like the most important one is it's very, very expensive. You will have to put a lot of investment in, into that. And it's also very, very time consuming. Well, the solution to this could be the virtual feeder segregation. So we are keeping the feeder same, but we are adding some of the devices which will help us to segregate uh, the load based on uh, their characteristics. So uh, the benefits of virtual feeder segregation will be minimizing the issues of physical segregation. It's also not demanding you to put a lot of investment into that. And with the help of products like reclosures and line sectionalizer, we can achieve uh, the virtual feeder segregation and also the overall efficiency of the power distribution will be very, very high. I hope you understood the concept of feeder segregation. Now this topic, the feeder segregation topic is really, really interesting topic. And if you want to know more about it in detail, uh, we can actually have an expert talking uh, on that who is working in this uh, field particular field. So if you want that, you can comment details in the comment section below. And based on your comment, we can definitely call the expert to discuss on uh, this topic more in uh, detail. If you want to know more on how do we distribute power, what are the different methodologies we use to distribute the power? Uh, I have dedicated videos talking on that. I'll put a link for it down in the description. You can go and check it out as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. But till then, keep watching, keep learning.